Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela and I'm just here for a little play about. As you can tell, the scene here is a little bit different. I am currently at, in Omaha. Uh, Demi opted out of 4th of July. By the way, happy 4th of July. Uh, to hang out with her auntie and her friends and Landon really wanted to come here so they've had a play about all weekend and it is almost pool time we have to wait because we're in timber and so we have to wait until the sun comes over the pool so we can get a little vitamin d uh but in the meantime the guys have gone to town to get some fireworks so with that said they will probably be back while i'm still filming this <clears throat> and i can assure you that the dogs will bark. So I apologize in advance. And I cannot guarantee what these two yahoos are going to do because uh, they have like a hate-hate relationship with each other and it's, it's interesting all the time. But what I thought I would do is go through what I've got for my Independence Day 4th of July journal and then apologize to you because I had a great video. Just a second, I need a sip all lined up for you, all recorded, and I lost it. And by lost it, I mean I deleted it. So there's that. I also apologize for the lighting being really bad, but I want to show you what I've done so far. So I, at that point, I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep working on it, and I'll just give them a flip through. But I need some advice. So this is our 4th of July, and of course, I went overboard a little chunky but I want to before I go through these and what I thought we would do today is I would go through this and then I would show you what with my limited resources here what I created at night when we were watching tv which remind me to tell you about I'm gonna write it down because I will forget um a series we're watching because I think you will like it um so here is the thing this is going to be the cover and I need some advice. This is going to be the dangle and I've added little extras. You should see, if you guys could see this right now, I found a piece of tag board that, you know, like you use for projects. This is a little piece that I did. What else is on here? I thought there was, oh, and this says 4th of July. It's supposed to go on like a page, but there was no way that was happening. So I just did the July and the four and put them on here. Um, I found a piece of tag board because we have can lights above us. And while this is great lighting for me to craft in, it is horrific lighting for me to um, do a video in. So this is what I thought I would do. I need your advice. And because I thought I would get this into the Etsy shop before the 4th of July, and I would have had I not messed up. But I didn't. So I am ready to do, and I cannot do, I don't want to sew this, the spine in until I'm back home where I have all of my equipment because I need my long um, crop dial to do it. And I only have the little one, which by the way, Dave was awesome today. He um, has lost quite a bit of weight. And he said, do you have a um, leather punch? And I'm like, well, as a matter of fact, I do. And he's like, are you kidding me? So I whipped out the crocodile and punched another hole in his leather belt. And he's like, that is amazing. I'm like, well, now you know where it's at. So here was my initial thought. This is, I'm going to sew my spine. I'm going to sew my signatures into this. It's fabric and Tyvek. I will, so this way it will be a hidden spine. It's not really going to matter because I am going to cover the backside, but this is the the paper that I want, or paper, fabric I wanted to use. I wanted to keep this yellow and keep this yellow. Okay, so that was established. The back, TBD. This is where I need your help. I need your help on this, and I need your help on determining what I should do. So, I, I just, I did decide I don't want to cover this because it's in perfect condition. Somebody can write in it. I'll leave this like it is. But we need to decide what we're going to use. These are some little ruffles that I did. On if we decide to cover this and the back, 
and what I do on the spine. So let's just look at this. I'm remembering that this is going to be on the inside, so I'll leave a little bit of that peeking out. So one thought was this, because I think it kind of looks good. Uh, this is part of the Pioneer Woman Fat Quarter Bundle, which by the way, it was in the clearance section and I bought it and it was $11.99 and it was not on clearance. So like a month later, like a couple days ago, I went back, I picked up all the other bundles because I love them. And I finally found a guy and said, hey, can you tell me uh, how much this is? And he, they were still in the clearance section, but there were some in the regular section. He's like $11.99. He goes, that's kind of steep. I said, yeah, it kind of is. So, uh, yeah, I won't be buying any more of that, but this might work just for a little prettiness. But then I found these in my stash, which are red, white, and blue. Oh, and it doesn't fit. So those are out. But there's this. Is this one bigger? Nope, same size. Okay, so those are out. But here's why I'm asking for your advice. I really, really, really wanted to use this pocket. And I bought a ton of these pockets. Yes, I know I could have probably tore these off of my own children's pants, but um, this is kind of a big one. So it must have been from adult, an adult size and I can cut around this and make it pretty. But what I thought was it would be kind of cool to put this as a pocket. So should I cover this? Let's just see what that would look like. You know, cover all of this and then use that. How cute would that be? It's already pretty chunky. So should I not do this and just cover it with this? And then I'll do something pretty here. So this is where, and then I had some other fabrics, but I'm thinking that, and I, I think I'll either do all of that or this and this. Because all of these other ones, like there's some of them I just, that I just don't like. Like, I don't know. There's one that I, like that one, not really me. This one's more nautical. So tell me what you guys would do. Um, I don't want to put it in the inside because it's already chunky, chunky. Uh, but so if I put post this today and it actually works, hopefully it will be posting while I'm doing a little sun in time. Um, it will give you an opportunity to comment and say, okay, here's what I would do. And I really welcome all of your your thoughts. All right, so let me carry on here. Let me get all this out of the way. And thank you guys for being patient with me with kind of a unique sitch with my, see, even my chair is making noises. This was kind of cool. I made this as a writing board, um, but it's all about the United States flag. And it's just, I think this is a cereal box on the back, but I thought I needed to have that in there. So let's just flip, flippy, flippy. Okay. See, I can't move this piece of tag board. It is literally on top <laughs> to try to make the can lights. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If I take it off, see what, let's see. Nope, I still get a glare, but that's not too bad now that I don't have the shiny thing. I'll just keep it over here. And if I need to put it back, we're working on something shiny. This is the first signature. And I had made some fabric flips on the last video. That was awesome, and you didn't get to see it. So there is a fabric clip in there. Uh, there's just some blank writing space. This is from the original book. Uh, this I actually did. Um, ooh, it's getting caught on Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Uh, this is just a tag. And then this was part of... Those are those cone, I, well, I don't know if you even saw this because this is from one of my Thrifty Thursdays that probably hasn't debuted yet, but these are like a cone-shaped um, treat bag and they're kind of glassine. So I stuck a couple things in here. This is an old um, article about stamps from the Boston Tea Party era. Um, I think it was in the 50s. So I put that in there. And then this is just a little belly band. There's just a little writing spot and a cute little tag that says nothing but just freedom on it. This is from the inside cover and we did this one on a previous video. This was a challenge that I did, but this folds out 
into a lot of writing space. There is also a pocket, pocket belly band. So that goes there. And then what's this? Oh, this is the American piece of pie recipe. And I just thought it was cute. So I just tucked it in there. This is going to go on Etsy along with my monochromatic journal. So those two will be coming up. Um, I've decided I'm just going to bite the bullet. And if I say it out loud, and I do have one more, which I cannot find that will also go on um, Etsy. I did yo-yos on the top and I think two or three, three spots. And then this is a belly band here. This is just a cute little tag that I had. Um, I used my alcohol inks and then I did some, why can't I think what I'm trying to say? <laughs> uh, yeah, stenciling and made a little pocket there. So there's that. This is a paper bag. This I did on camera with you guys that you did not get to see. Okay, why is that not coming out? That's concerning to me. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna have to fiddle with that later, but it's kind of stuck. I must have glued it accidentally. Shame on me. <clears throat> and then this opens up and inside is just a little notebook and then a journaling card. I left this blank on here because I was like, I think it'd be kind of fun to write just right on there. And then a little bingo card that says time. So that's that side of the pocket. And then on this side, I made another pocket. And this is a copy of one of my vintage um, postcards. And then we've got this and another pocket. And here is an old postcard of Washington, D.C. And then an original Western, well, this is from the newspaper. This was um, published in the newspaper from uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower and congratulating the city of Guthrie Center, which is in Iowa, on their bicentennial, I think. It's 100th anniversary, yeah. Bicentennial, right? <laughs> Um, this is, uh, just a piece that I made into a journaling card from the book. The papers were really, really fragile. This is a wraparound, um, envelope pocket. I just tucked a couple little things in there. There's a place for something here. This is a copy of one of my postcards. And this, so this becomes a tuck and then it flips over. And then I did glue it down here. And then there's an envelope here and writing space here, which I think I showed. Oh, I probably showed you on the last video how to do these and it's gone. So I'm gonna have to do another one. Um, these were just some of my corner um, tucks that I had made. There's just a few little fun pieces. This is a double-sided journal card. We've got just another journal card here. This is the center, which is just coffee dyed paper that I did. Uh, this one is, there's a great big journal card here that tucks in the back. This tucks into this. These are some clusters that I made from the leftovers. And here is a pocket. There are two pockets here on this one. And this was inspired by um, Julie at Camellia Craft Design. So I did a whole bunch of, of those. And this is just one of the um, fabric uh, pieces that I did and I turned it into a side tuck. And in here is just, uh, this was an old flashcard. And this is a probably Tim Holtz or someone's piece. This is the vellum. I left this totally blank. Uh, this is just one of my seed packets with a little, the, one of the stamps that I did. This is another tuck in the top up here. And I just did, I did lots and lots of space for journaling. People can put photos in there. Uh, I did some stenciling with just a little random stencil that I don't know where it came from. 
this is a copy of one of my um, postcards. In here, this is from the book as well. And this is the other side of the... Um, what do you call it? Why isn't that going in there now? Paper sack. And on this side, there's a little cluster that I did with the journaling card here. And then these are some of the cards that I had bought. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to forget who it was. Paper Cottage, maybe. I don't remember. That I just collaged with some of the scraps. I left lots of blank space here. Another page from the book that I had put together. And then we end with another piece of that. So that is the first signature. The second signature... Ruby's just standing here looking at me. I know she's going to go ballistic. Um, I did a little cluster on the front. See, there we go again. Now I need this back again. It doesn't really help that much, but I can only move it so far or else it's going to fall right on top of this. Um, another fabric flip, another yo-yo. This is a notebook that I actually put into um, the page. So it's just got all kinds of fun papers. This is another one of those cones with a cluster and then there's all kinds of journaling cards in here. This is something I did on the last video. This is a from like an index from index cards like inside of a little index box that I had found and these were all alphabetized and numbers and so I turned them all into uh, pockets and I did that on camera so I owe you that. I know you owe you that little video. And this was just something that was left over. I'm having a hard time getting things in and out today. I don't know what the problem is. This is um, just the vellum. And then I did another one of those little tags that we made in one of our last minute things. This is an old card that I did from close to my heart years and years and years ago and I found it. And so I put it in and made it into a tuck. There's a copy of one of my postcards, a couple other little tags, and this was their Centennial Proclamation. Okay, so not Bicentennials, 100 Years of Centennial, duh, um, from 1956, and I stuck that in there. That's original from, from the newspaper. This I did on camera too. I just used some of my poppy napkins and made this glassine bag into something fun and put a couple little journaling cards inside of there. And this, oh, this is just writing space, but I made these into little pockets. Um, and so there's a whole lot of writing space right there. I love this. I love anything patriotic 4th of July. Uh, this is several different pockets. I loved this. This is um, one of those cards that I made in I cut in half and I liked the sevens and the fours. This is one of my um, paper doll images that I had printed and then added some stars. Uh, this is a little um, journaling spot from that same magazine or magazine newspaper. Um, bicycles enjoyed Vogue in the 90s and in the 19s. So this was from 1890s, so the 1800s. And then there's another pocket and here and another pocket here to add things. A pocket here on this envelope and inside here. What did I put inside? Yeah. Oh, this is just one I found. And that's the interesting thing. You know, a lot of what I did, this is just a piece of vellum I did a stamp on. This is another one of my digitals from my stash. Is I just worked with what I had and I didn't have a ton. So um, but I wanted to finish it up. Another one, a copy of one of my postcards. Um, this little cutie, big journaling card and a nice thick paper. Uh, this is another one of the um, envelope tucks and pockets. So I did those and a little, a bunch of little tags and, and such. There's lots and lots of journaling space in this. So you could use this year over year, which is kind of cool. 
Uh, this was just a little sticker that I found that matched these stickers and I just made it into a journaling card and tucked it in here. And this has a whole bunch of spots to tuck things. Uh, this is just a blank journaling card. And then I filled this up with all kinds of goodies. Let's see, oh my gosh, there's that one and that one. Um, this, I just had these stickers. There weren't very many left on the page. So I was like, we're just gonna make something. So I figured it would be fun to just do a little collage with stickers. And this is just a fold out um, paper. This was some of that that was scrapbook paper, which I kind of liked. I was going to do more things to it, but I thought there's lots of journaling space here. A photo could go here if somebody wanted to do that. Uh, this one is another one of those pockets that were inspired by um, Camellia Craft Design. I did make sure Dolly Dingle made it into the scene. That was awesome. I should move this over there. This is just a piece from an old magazine. Another journaling card. I love these. Um, so thank you for the inspo, Julie. What else? How much? We're at 21 minutes already. Uh, this was, I showed this, see, I don't even know because I think I picked out the papers with you and maybe that was it, but I did. So that I did actually get printed, but these were, um, die cuts that were in a kit. So I just made some fun things. These were die cuts and I thought they looked like kites. So I just left them like that as journal cards. Um, you know, sometimes it's better just to leave well enough alone and let people just play and decide what they want to do with it. This was the, the one thing I loved and I just had so much fun doing. This is just a journal card in here, a uh, collage journal card, but I did a belly band. Let's flip it over because this is what makes it huge. So I made a fabric belly band. Um, but I knew it wouldn't be big enough, so I used one of the original, um, this is from July 4th, 1973, um, first, or first stamp, you know, the thing. I used that to wrap it around there, and then I put this great big, uh, what did I make this with? Hmm. I think I just made this from a cereal box, perhaps, but I just made a little notebook with tons and tons of little pages in there and a couple little pockets um, with all of those scraps. So that was kind of fun. So it's kind of a little bonus. And then I just left the last two pages as they are. So that wraps up that journal. So I will finish it as soon as I get some feedback on what shall I do, what shall I do? So let me show you what I worked on that was just random when you can't find, you know, you don't have all the tools, right? So, uh, let's see. Still getting that glare. Oh, maybe if I did that. Doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> You're still going to have a shadow. Okay. So this, what do I have in here? Oh, this is some stuff. I had gotten these fabrics at... A auction, a garage sale, somewhere, a thrift shop here. And so I kept them here and I thought, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. But I've been wanting to do kind of a whimsical, vintage 50s, kids book-esque type of journal. So I found a, um, I don't know if this is a FedEx box or a cereal box. And these were two of the papers. So I left, you can see these are the cardboard's here and this is here. So I'm gonna take this home and sew around it and then fray these edges a little bit. And this was some of the, from a thrift shop, um, little, I don't know, it's not like eyelash trim, but it's just kind of cool. So I went a little bit overboard on this with all of the page embellishments, but I just think it just is fun and cute. So I used whatever I could find here uh, I put some pages together from some of the books. And this is all I've really gotten done. And then I'll show you some of the... Uh, this is... You know, these are little tags that come out. I think... Yeah, I don't know who I saw this... Who, who I saw do this. But I know 
Gail Agustinelli did it, and then I left another pocket here as well, but I somebody else did it too, and I can't remember. Um, then there's just this bright page. This is kind of a um, mini version of that, and I made it into a belly band and stuck that behind it. I did have quite a bit of uh, items here that I thought I could use, so this is kind of where we're going with this. When I get back, this is another, this is just a flip out writing space. Uh, when I get back, I will then, you know, use a lot of my books to embrace, I don't know, or to embrace, to embrace the feel of this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that I like this, so it might come out, but we'll see. These are some extra pieces. I thought this headband might look cute to use and make, you know, maybe even put some dangles or something on it as the wraparound. We shall see how big this gets. More kids' writing page, some dictionary page. This is really fragile, so I might have to do something with it. Um, this is what inspired me. This is Pam. Um, and it says, I like what I, or the book it was called, I Like What I Am. So I made a lot of little pieces from those. It wasn't a thick book. It was like maybe six pages. I left this little dangly up here. I kind of liked it. This is the center. So really bright colors, lots and lots of whimsy lots and lots of textiles. I just, I wanted to go overboard on this, just like maybe a child would if they were creating a project, you know, just don't stop, just keep doing it until it makes your heart happy. Um, those I think look like little Tic Tacs. So I got, I've got most of the pages. I think when I get home, I might change my mind and change out that orange one. This is just a pocket that I had on hand. This is some more writing space and a journal card. All of those I had here. And that's kind of what I do. You know, I do a lot of, of collaging and things like that with what I have. This was the back of the book. Um, and oh, and there is I Am Pam that was on the cover. And I just took two or three strips that I had and made that, glued them together, and made it into one belly band, and I've got that right there. So this is the start of the fun. Oh wait, it's not done. More stuff that I had on hand. What did I do here? Let's see. Oh, that's that's a pocket and another pocket. Today is the day. <clears throat> and that is that. This almost reminds me a little bit of Dr. Seuss, but. So that's kind of where my head was at. And then I did, what are, what time are we at? I can't see, 27 minutes, that's all. Okay, so let me show you what, I, what I've got to fill this. This is an old arithmetic or reading test. So I, I think there's two of them in there. Uh, there's just some book page pockets, a old card. These are the ones that I did from the book, the Pam book. So I got a pretty good start. This is another one of those uh, fold out pockets from a kid's book. These, I didn't think I'd really ever use them. I just made them because I had the tissue paper, but I think that will be cute. This is another writing spot. Another one of those. So I've got a whole bunch of things that I can add to the journal. The bright colors. I like to gab with Mike. <laughs> I like to ride my bike. Oh, Pam, this is just one from a kid's, kid's book. I grabbed these two envelopes um, that I had. We used to use these. I used to leave these every time we Airbnb'd the place and so I think these might go somehow, some way, in a fun way. Um, and then I started playing. I was like, well, I, I made, I finished up the Patriotic Journal. I finished up the, you know, the, the signatures of the um, kind of whimsy journal. And I was like, well, now what am I going to do? So I had over to my left here are just a bunch of envelopes and they're, um, I don't know, how long are these? They're just like the legal envelopes, not legal. They're nine and almost a half by four. So I started playing around with them 
and I ended up making three different like ephemera pockets three ways. So this is out of two pockets and I'll show you what I how I did it and what I did. This is a floating pocket. So the front opens up. There is a, let me see. Let me get one of these pieces so I can. That one's too big. We need something smaller than Pam. Here we go, this one will work. So in here is a pocket. I just put a little piece in that has an old house from a kid's book. So there's a pocket here. There's an itty bitty pocket here. And in there I have something. I know I have something. Oh, just a little journal card. I just made it to fit right in there. And then there's a pocket here. And there's actually a pocket behind it too. So there's two. I'm just going to leave that like that. And then a pocket here. There's Pam again. And then you flip it over and there is a pocket on the back. So essentially all I did was <clears throat> uh, took one envelope and I glued it. I, I Hold on, where did my envelope go? Did I put it back? So I just took one envelope and this has the sticker on it. So I just took this off and did this. And then I took another envelope to kind of measure it. Because I did these three ways. So I thought I would show you how I did each one. And then to make the tall part, I did cut this down, I think, to six inches. I closed this one up as well. So then I cut it down. And then I just figured out how I wanted that to go over so it was overlapping just like that so then after I had this together and cut down well we can just do it well, I got kind of a mess but we'll figure it out okay so now I have this piece, okay. Oh, shoot. I just cut off the wrong one. I wonder if I can get that back up. Likely not. Let me try. Oh, on this one, it's fine. Then what I did with this, is just here. I cut that off. So now we have an opening here. Uh oh, here we go. The boys are home. We'll see how this goes. An opening here. Oh my goodness. It's not like they don't know who these people are, for goodness sakes. Okay, I am back. And it's actually the next day. So <laughs> that wasn't uh, Dave and Landon. It was some friends of ours who came to visit and swim. So I spent the rest of the day at the pool. Um, so I'm back at it this morning before we head out and thought I would finish this up. So uh, let's go ahead and do this first one and then I'll show you the other two. So where we left off, uh, I had cut this one down and now I have this small envelope, which I'm just going to glue up. Oh, I bought these pins that said stainless steel. Clearly they're not. Okay, I'm just gonna put that down. All right, so we have this little pocket. We have this little pocket. Then this one's going to wrap around the back. So it'll be a floating series of pockets. And then we'll have a pocket back here. And then we'll have two, one on each side. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do this time, I'm not gonna punch the holes in it like I did last time because I was doing that on my prototype. So we're just gonna 
Uh, no. Yeah, it's fine. I can, I can make it happen. So we're going to glue this one to the bottom. And I think for this one, I'm just going to glue all of that. Can you see me? Yes. And I, again, apologize for that shadow. It's very bright in here right now. And my little <clears throat> impromptu uh, <laughs> lighting solution is not cutting it this morning. So, all right. So we will have a pocket here. We will have a pocket here. So there's two pockets, three, four, and we'll have one on the back. <clears throat> so now I'm just going to go ahead and glue this. Oops, we need to glue this down. So essentially I have two envelopes, three different styles of pockets. There we go. This goes there. And I think I'm going to glue this totally down on here too. I didn't on the first one. And I did also decorate them all before I put them all together. But for the sake of this, so that you can see the process, we're just gonna do it this way and I will attempt to decorate when it's all together. So there we go. That one is done and it turns out looking like this first one that I showed you, pocket, 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 and one on the back, super easy. So now let's try this one. Uh, well, no, let's try this one. All right, so this one, what did I do? I used, I folded it again. I cut this one off, so let's do that first. Let me grab my trimmer. Oh, it's behind me. <laughs> so um, last night, Landon and I, and I'm going about six and a half. Mm, yeah, about six and a half. Landon and I and Dave watched um, a movie that I'm saying I highly recommend. I'm going to go ahead and um, glue this together. So this one will be this piece. This one was this one was about seven inches. I'm gonna do it. It was called Whiplash, and it was about this uh, young drummer. Oh my goodness! And when we watched the trailer, Landon and I were like, "Eh, we don't know." And then Dave came in and we said, "Okay, give us your opinion. What do you think?" And he was like, "Oh, I've seen it. It is fabulous." So this is gonna go. This one is gonna go right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that together. Now you could also do it the other way if you wanted, uh, but it was fabulous. And then earlier in the weekend, Dave popped on a series and it's called Genius and it's a story of Pablo Picasso. So if you're an art history buff, uh, both Dave and I are, <laughs> uh, you, I think you'll really like it. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to, again, glue this shut. Dave's going to come here and need an envelope in the office, and he's going to be like, um, what happened to all my security envelopes? Oh, well, they're now in a journal, so sorry. Okay, so this one, all I did was I kind of folded up. And I didn't really worry about... exactly where it was at. But this one I folded, same thing, but I just have it going this way. So now I'm gonna put this on the page and you could do something different. I mean, there's so many things you could do with this. This one, I just, I was going to glue this down and then you have your pocket here. You could tuck it in and have it like that and have it open up for writing space. You could do all sorts of things. But for this example, we're just going to do it this way. So then I'm going to cut this top off and this top off. So I'm just using my scissors. It helps if you do it on this, on the back side, at least on this envelope, particular envelope, because there's one little line on either side. And so you can just use that as your guide. And that's all there is to it. So yeah, we, um, 
yesterday afternoon. We, well, we spent all from the time that <laughs> I ended this video until um, the evening. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> and we just had a good play at the pool. Um, and then this one, I want to go have go this way. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put this together so you guys... Actually, I won't because this one's already done. So maybe we'll decorate this one. So what I did is I glued... Um, and I moved this up a little bit so that it was kind of staggered. So then you're going to glue here to make a pocket. You're going to glue this one on to make a pocket. And this will be, oh my goodness, seriously. This will be a fold down and then this will be a pocket and this will be a pocket. So you've got, let's do this. One, two, technically three, if you wanted to put something there, four, five pockets. Okay, so let's put that one aside. We might be able to have time to decorate one of these. Because I don't remember how long that was that I did the last video, so <laughs> I think it was like 20 some minutes. Okay, so on this one, I won't cut another one up, but what I did is I cut this one the very same way. I folded, so this is my leftover from that pocket. There we go. This is the rest of it. Then on this one, instead of wrapping it around and putting the pocket on the back, this is so we can actually put it onto a page. So we're going to glue this down here. So we've got a pocket here and a pocket here. Or you could glue all of this down, which I may do just because this is kind of thin paper. And then we're just going to glue this one right on here and we would do our punches. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I, I did this on the first one and then I was like, whoops, that's not right. And I was like, well, that's silly. Why did I do that? Um, but even after it was done, I just went like this, opened it up because I covered it then and did my little notches. So yeah, two highly recommended shows for you. Again, it was Whiplash and it's okay. Uh, I can't remember his name, which I never can I remember actors or actresses names, but it's the same kid that was played Rooster in Top Gun. Super good. It's so funny to see, you know, once they've played one role to see them play something entirely different, but you know, you kind of have to, for, I'm just going to warn you for this movie, it's like pretty intense and like the composer slash instructor uh, is, he's pretty hardcore. So you kind of got to get past that. Um, I'm going to move that up just a little bit. Okay, I like where that's at. So that's how we're going to have it here. So we've got one two, potentially three here, four, five, six pockets. Okay, so there are two security envelopes, three different methods, and then we're gonna go ahead and, should we do, which one should we do? I'm kinda thinking we should, hmm. let's just do this one that we already glued together. Okay. So I pulled out a bunch of, what's this up here? Well, that was the one that I showed you guys and didn't put together. I just pulled out a bunch of um, pieces that I thought might match. And I'm just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna do this the easiest way possible. And normally I would cut these all I may even measure, but not today. We're just going to do it. The easy peasy way. Just cut around it. And I think what we'll do on the back is use just one. So I collaged on the other one because I had a lot of scraps. And so I thought, well, why not? But now I've used all those scraps. So let's just make more scraps. And let's do the orange on both sides here. Ew. 
So I hope you guys had a fabulous 4th of July. I started to say that, I'm gonna tuck a little piece of glue here. Uh, after my last little part of the video, uh, after we laid by the pool, then we had, well, we had a, some more friends come out and we hung out with them and then we grilled out and had some yummy food and then uh, Landon had got a bunch, he and Dave had gone and got a bunch of fireworks. So it was fun. Rhea was home, but she was going to uh, hang out with her her friends and they were having a bunch of people over to watch fireworks at her friend's house. So she, she ditched us. Um, okay. So we got that. And so he had, Landon had gone and got a bunch of fireworks and, um, it's much easier when you don't glue this together, by the way. Um, I think I'm gonna have to measure this though. So. So we waited. He was anxious to do it. Um, <laughs> so we, we did shoot some of them off before it was actually dark out, but um, that was kind of fun. And then we um, we stayed out for quite a while. And the uh, there was a hatch of lightning bugs, a huge hatch. And so we watched those for a while. They're just so fascinating. And in the, you know, in the timber... It's just so pretty to see them through the trees, and so we did that. Did I cut this right? I feel like I need to cut it just a little bit more. Yeah, I need to just take a sliver off there. Uh, so that was like a little fire fireworks show in itself. That was kind of cool. And then we came in, and uh, it's pretty hot. So we, then that's when we decided to watch a movie and we stayed up way later than we probably should have. Well, Landon and I just have to drive back. It's not that big of a deal. Dave had to work today. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure that's nice and done. Okay, what should we use for this? No. Let's do that. It's pretty simple. I'm going to have to measure and cut this too. But yeah, it was pretty, it was a really relaxing weekend. We just kind of hung out and the guys went golfing and I did some crafting. As you know, <laughs> this is going to be very simplistic, but you get the gist. What am I doing? Oh, um, I meant to tell you <laughs> this little mat that I have down here. I bought, I don't know, must, it may have been last year, uh, at a yard sale and it's by Tupperware and it's actually a plant care sheet. So it's, tell, it tells you how to, you know, pot things correctly, all of that good stuff. And so that was kind of fun. Okay, that's not totally, I better just wait till that dries a little bit. So while this one is not perfect because I did it after it was glued, at least you'll get the idea. So yeah, now we're gonna flip this over and this one, we need one here and I think I wanna use this. Or we can use this one up here and we can use, hang on, it's underneath my, yeah, let's do that. So I want to cut it there. And right there. I'm just going to lay this right on top here. So I hope you guys all had a fabulous 4th of July year in the good old USA and did something fun. It was, well, it was kind of weird because it was, Landon said, I can't believe it was 100 degrees here today. And it 
really did not feel like 100 degrees, but it could have been because we were in the pool and, you know, enjoying all of that. We've had, um, and I'm not, the, we're not the first ones to have gone through this, but uh, it took us a long time this year and I don't know exactly why. Well, first of all, it was, you know, cold and the, the weather just was not cooperating for um, getting the pools or the pool all up to par. And then when it did get nice enough, then we had a really hard time adjusting it. And um, we have somebody that, um, our friend, two friends that have always helped, you know, take care of the, the acreage when we're gone and that kind of thing and have always helped with the yard and pool stuff and you know all three of them Dave and the two the two of them have been working on it and finally got it swimmable <laughs> so we took advantage of that it did rain one day and then it cleared off in the afternoon and that was the day that the guys went Where did they, where did they go? To the, they went golfing. So see what I'm saying? This is a little bit hard. It might not be right in the center, but there we have it. That is super cute. And this one came not quite where I wanted it, but you get the idea. We'll put some pretties on it and it'll be fine. But my note to you is do this before you put it all together. I'm just doing this for time's sake because I don't know. And I liked that blue, the blue lining of that, so I just left it. But you could save yourself a lot of headache if you didn't do it this way. There we go. And how it really looks like pockets. Oh, that one. Oh. You know what? I kind of like that that's a tuck like that. That was a mistake on my side. Do I? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that like that. I kind of like it. Okay, let's see if we have a few little pretties to put on this. Um, let's see how, what I'm saying right there. It's not quite, it's not quite right. It's fine. Now, let's see, where are those? I have these cute little things that I found. I have no idea where they came from. Probably some yard sale. Um, let's just see if we can find one and we can use it as a um, class for that. Oh my goodness, the dog. Are you feeling ignored? Landon shut the door so that she wouldn't bother me and now she's... You're fine. You were fine. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, hang on, guys. I'm going to let her. She probably won't want to be out there when I'm not out there, but <laughs> we'll see what happens. Ah, the joys of having a puppy. But, you know, you got to take them serious when they ring that bell. <laughs> you don't want to delay too long because you don't want accidents to happen. So yeah, that's my intent was to actually get this video up yesterday on the 4th of July, but that did not work, which is absolutely fine because family time is important and it was great to hang out with friends. So, okay, we'll just do this on the front. Be true. 
and this piece probably won't make it any farther than one of my own personal projects and or I'll just keep it in the template then. And then you can just fill it up with all kinds of things. Let's see if I have, oh, you know what? I have these stickers. I got too many things up here. I don't have a lot of, a ton of space on this desk. It's like a real desk. What if we put this hello on here? These are just stickers. Where are these from? I do not know. I'm having a problem getting it off of the page. Hmm. Oh, because the hello and the sunshine are technically together. Well, they're not anymore. Hello. And I wonder if the fun times Let's see if we can get the fun times to fit. It's gonna be a real bad thing if I can't get this to come undone. Oh goodness. Seriously. We're just gonna put that there for a second. It's all separate. Well not all separate. It's like the fun and time is together. But then if I put this here. No. After I pulled all of that off, I will use it for something else. Well. Because I don't want that to wrap around and then. Let's see, let's put this down here. What else do I have? Do I have anything in this little pile? These are just too vintage. Well, you know what we could do? Because this is a flip this way, we could use. Do I have a piece of cardstock? That would be kind of cute on there. And just make that into a belly band. There we go. Oh, I had this little, it doesn't, I don't know if it really goes. And I don't want to use two of these in that journal. So, but I had this cute little girl and boy I set aside from one of those books that I thought would be fun to use. So this one's going to be a fun, I think this will be a fun, just not planned journal to put together. So I'm looking forward to getting home and trying it. Um, oh, it's gonna drive me cray. That's actually the card stuck on the other side. So there we go, we solved that problem. And I can use some distress inks to fix her up. Let's see what we have that might be. I don't know, this is all purplies. No idea what's in here. None of that really matches. There's no purple in it. Okay, well. Oh, here. This will work. So that looks cute there. We got that. I think I'll leave those for now. Oops. Should we do this one there? Let's do this one right here doesn't sound good out there. <laughs> and then when I get back, I can decorate it up with some other things. Like I said, I don't have a lot here, so kind of just, I'm going to leave a little bit of that purple around here. Kind of just have to work with what you got. I always think I should just plan, like get a little tote and then look through my things and things I have duplicates of. Just say, okay, I need to bring that here, you know, but I never do. I did remember to bring the vintage photo though, because I had thought I had done that, brought the walnut stain, wasn't the right one, needed the wal walnut stain at home. And then I was like, oh. so I took it home and then didn't have a, a brown. All right. So 
I think I'll just um, leave it like this and then finish it up and the rest of these um, when I get home. But I thought that you guys might want to see just what I've been working on and the fun that I've been having. We'll just stick this right in there right now. So I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. I have a few videos I need to get on this week. Uh, and today is Demi's last softball game of the season until fall. So that means that I perhaps might have a little more consistent time to actually get some work done. So at any rate, as always, Please remember to take time to just be and have a fantastic rest of the week. Until then, friends, cheers.